I'm out with the dog and walking through the wood I notice this piece of relatively straight dead branch now it's laying across hawthorn but it's come from that elderberry bush and the reason I'm interested in it and it will come straight off is because it's quite narrow and it's straight and I'm just wondering if I can get a hand drill out of it it being elder I've never tried hand drill before because I never thought I would be able to get it to work but I'm going to give it a try Right, well it's uh, it's my coffee break now and I've got the wood here that I brought back yesterday to make the hand drill Now that's something I've never tried So we're going to give it a go And these are the two pieces of elderberry that I thought I might be able to turn into the drill. That's just a other piece of uh, elderberry I picked up just purely for burning. Uh, but for the half, I want to maximise the chances of success. So I've got this piece of ivy. So I'm going to turn this into a half. I want this about half an inch thick for the, uh, will you leave that alone? For the um, board, the half. But close enough will be close enough. I know I keep mentioning it. Uh, that is my bushcrafty knife which I usually carry with me, made by Matico Knives. That's a uh, legal carry in the UK, non locking folding knife, made by Matico Knives. Now I know I keep mentioning it, but uh, it's just because. He's done a lot for me, uh, so that's why I keep mentioning it. Be able to pick all these chippings up later when I uh, mow the lawn. Right, that'll do for now. So I've got the makings of two halves there.
Right. How long do you need a hand drill? Well, in theory, your hand needs to be able to go down it a bit to put a bit of pressure on, so... Don't know how long can we get away with. Start too long, I think that's the answer. Now just give me it here. Start. Thank you. I've just been resupplied. Hey, will you stop digging the grass up? Your rat bag. Dog's under the bench. This is experimental, so I will be using all the cheating methods necessary to really examine what I'm doing. Right, so <clears throat> we only need the two bits of wood. We don't need the bone, we don't need the bearing block, uh, and we only need to blunt one end of the stick. <clears throat> so I've blunted the end, and you do get the pithiness where it's just like spongy in the middle and I'm just wondering if what I should do is cut a sliver of ivy and just stick it in there but I'll leave it as it is for now Right, this is just the burning. Uh, so I have to take it back off here to cut the notch. But this is really just to see how hard it is, how difficult it is. Can we get a burning at all? I don't seem to be able to put enough downward pressure on it. Oh, it's hot.
Okay, let's cut a groove in and see what difference that makes. If we can get this nail out. We're not going for flame here, uh, we're just going for some technique, uh, but I do like to flare the bottom of that out, just to let a bit of oxygen in. And just to make the coal fall out uh, a little bit better. hard to push down and spin at the same time. There's no charring, so we're not getting anywhere near. I can't put enough downward pressure on.
<laughs> Do you see where I'm going with this? Hands hot. Skinny hands. It's making um, sawdust. Now when things don't work out, you've got to ask yourself why and what can we do to find out why it didn't work out. Is it the wood we're using? It'll certainly be partly the technique I'm using. But anyway, just to look at the wood that we're using, let's try a different method. Still a hand drill. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, we're getting smoke. Okay, if you can see that, we're now getting smoke. So, lack of downward pressure, because I wasn't going too fast there, was I? Well, I still couldn't really go, go fast enough with that hand drill, because it's slightly off centre. So, there's hope, but we're not there yet. Right then, so I think we would have got there with this method with a different drill or putting some ivy down that pithy core. I think that's what's letting us down with this. Well, let's not give up yet.
<laughs> well, we, we still didn't get an ember. You can see See how it's left that pimple in the middle there where the, the, the pith is and we've snapped off the end of the drill so I don't know maybe I should just cut a I'll cut another drill out of ivy and see how we get on with that or I'll tell you what you could do you could get a straight shaft and then just stick a bit of ivy on the end of it but for now um, I think we've done this one to death for now I'm not going to waste any more time on it uh, conclusion being that hand drill is much harder than I first thought and I'm going to have to do a bit more research into what makes a suitable drill I know ivy as a hearth board is, is very good you can see how it's worn that ivy down and you can see the amount of dust we've got so I think my um, drill material is not suitable also as well I think my technique is not really suitable although I could get a bit of downward pressure using a simple loop like that but uh, obviously in a real life situation I'm going to have to spend that extra time making the bow and the bearing block and using the bow drill method because I'm obviously at this moment in time totally useless at the hand drill so if you've got tips comments please leave them and when I get time I shall revisit this this exercise <laughs>